Hey booktube, it's Thea and I'm back for another unhaul. So I haven't really done a lot of unhauls on my channel because one, I don't normally unhaul a lot of books and number two, if I am unhauling books, it's usually um, pretty impromptu. I just pull a couple from my shelves that I'm no longer interested in or pull a couple out of the shed that I've read and I don't really want to keep anymore. Um, when I'm headed to like a used bookstore and I just go then, but they have been servicing booktube a lot lately and I figured you know what I had the day off today I would really take the time to clean out my shelves because I only have this one bookshelf behind me and then I have like two boxes of books in the shed that never really see the light of day so I figured it was it was perfect timing to kind of clean out my shelves I'm gonna be hauling a lot in the new year so I wanted to make some space and I don't really buy a lot of books brand new. So most of my books come from used bookstores or library sales and I figured I want to share the love of reading and like share books that I've really enjoyed or books that I have no longer interest in reading to share them with people who want to read them, who would enjoy them more than I will. I'm gonna be donating most of these um, just to local shelters and um, I have a little free library in my neighborhood that I'm gonna drop a lot of them off of because I really want them to go to people who can't afford to buy books because I personally don't have a lot of expendable money so I don't really buy books a lot um, and if I do buy them, it's a special treat. So I really want to be able to give these books a new home for someone to love who might not be able to, would, would, would have otherwise not been able to afford it. So without further ado, no more rambling from me, let's go ahead and dive into the books that I'm gonna be unhauling today. This unhaul is separated into three different categories. I won't really be going into much about what they are because I don't have a lot of battery left and I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna probably pretty quickly go through these, but they are separated into three different categories. This first category are, um, are things that I'm donating to my little free library in my neighborhood. And the first one is going to be Good As Gone by Amy Gentry. This is a um, thriller that was one of my book of the month books two years ago. I ended up reading it last year. I didn't really like it. I gave it like two stars. Um, I had this weird notion about holding on to book of the month books, but I didn't really like it. I'm not going to reread it. I would rather this go to someone within my neighborhood who does have it. I have a neighbor who would really, really like this. So I'm going to go ahead and donate this to my little free library. I'm also donating two samplers to my little free library um, just because we, you know, people might there might be someone who could try it out and if they like it might want to go purchase the whole book. So, and that is the Life Link, um, that is the Life Like Sneak Peek as well as the Sampler for Warcrafts because I don't need these and I don't want to throw them away. So I figured my little free library would be the perfect place for that. Uh, this, these, now these two things aren't books, but they're kind of, they are part of this unhaul and it seems weird that it's just these two, but I will explain. Um, and that's going to be Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I got the Blu-ray um, box set for Christmas and I um, donated the rest, I donated the rest of the series um, a, like a month ago, but for some reason I had two duplicates. So I'm just gonna donate these to my Little Free Library. And the last book that I'm donating to my Little Free Library is A Man Called Uwe by Frederick Bachman. This book I read a couple years ago, absolutely loved. I did just recently haul this um, for a couple dollars, but thinking about it, I figured, you know what, I would rather actually rather have a nice um, edition of this because it is one of my favorite books and I would rather this go to someone who will and who won't care that this is a library edition. It's got the stickers all over it. Um, it's a little beat up and the spine's a little busted but this will go to a home of someone who won't care as much about that and just wants to read it. So this is going to go to my little free library and I'm eventually going to just buy a new edition because um, I always there's always editions at my local used bookstore um, and so I'm going to donate this one as well. The, the second section of this unhaul are books that I'm actually taking to my used bookstore today to try to see if I can get credit for them um, and then that way I can use that credit to buy books that I do want to read. Um, and these first three things are going to be graphic novels. The first one here is The Wicked and the Divine Volume 1 by a couple different people. Um, we read this a couple years ago. 
didn't really like it. We don't plan on continuing with the series. And at this point, it's just taking up space on the bookshelves for graphic novels that we do want to read. And there might be someone out there, there's going to be someone out there who will enjoy this more than we did. So we're going to go ahead and unhaul this one. Uh, we're also unhauling Chew Volume 1, Taste Your Ch Choice by John Lehman. Because this is another one that I read, that we read a couple years ago. Didn't really like it. Don't plan on continuing the series. Just taking up space at this point. Um, so we're, and there's going to be someone out there who enjoys this series more than I do. So I'm going to give this one as well. And the last graphic novel in part two of this unhaul is Original Sin, Thor and Loki, The Tenth Realm. I have no idea where this came from. Um, I think we got it from someone who gave, I think someone gave it to us because they know how much I love Thor and Loki, but I have no interest in reading this. Um, my boyfriend has no interest in reading it, so I would rather this go to a home of someone who will be interested in this. So we are going to be unhauling this one as well. And the next book I'm taking to my used bookstore to see if I can get some credit is The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album. Um, I met I met him at my local book festival like three or four years ago and he signed it. There was a time when I was kind of obsessed with this book, but my reading tastes have changed. I'm not really interested in it anymore. I'd rather go to a home of someone who is interested and would appreciate a signed copy a lot more than I do now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on. And the next book I'm unhauling is actually a book that I hauled recently and that's Fable Haven, Fable Haven by Brandon Mole. I picked this up a couple months ago um, because Goodwill was doing a buy four, get one free sale and I could not pass up that sale. But I don't really know if this is a series I'm interested in anymore. Um, and this copy is pretty beat up. It's not really a copy that I like. So I figured I would rather this go to a home of someone who um, would be more interested in it than I am currently am. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Also getting unhauled is uh, The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. This is part of that same Goodwill haul um, of buy four, get one free. And I picked this up because I needed an extra book. Not really interested, I don't think. Um, and it's kind of a chunker. I don't think it's something I'm ever really going to ever read. Um, and this is a really nice, this is a pretty nice copy. So I would rather this go to someone who is more interested. So I'm unhauling this as well. Hocus Pocus in Focus by Aaron Wallace is another book I'm unhauling. I won this um, as a Goodreads giveaway, I think last year, maybe two years ago. Um... Honestly, I like the movie Hocus Pocus. I love Hocus Pocus the movie, but I'm not going to read this. I would rather this go to someone who would be much more interested in reading this than I am. So I'm going to pass this one along as well. It does have pictures of the movie and it talks all about the making of the movie and about the movie. So I would rather this go to a fan who is more interested in it than I am. The next, um, next on the list is The You I've Never Known by Alan Hopkins. This one is going to be really hard to unhaul because um, it is signed and personalized, but I read it two years ago, I think maybe now, and I didn't really like it. Um, I think I ended up giving it like a three stars. I And while I didn't hate it, I didn't love it. And even though it is signed, um, I'm never going to read this again. I have no interest in keeping it just because it's signed. And it's a chunker. It takes up a lot of space. I would rather this go to someone who would appreciate a signed copy more than I do now. And um, I just, I'm never going to reread this. I didn't really enjoy it enough to keep it. So I'm going to be passing this along. I'm also getting, I'm also unhauling The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult. This book is probably one of the oldest books I now own. Um, I've had this book, I think, since it came out in either 2013 or 2014. Um, I was so excited because at the time I was super into Jodi Picoult. I met her, she signed and personalized it. It was her newest book and, um, but to this day, I still have not read this, and this has been sitting on this has been sitting in my box of books in the shed for at least three years now. Um, if I haven't picked it up now, if I haven't picked it up since then, I'm honestly probably not gonna pick it up. I don't even remember what it's about anymore, um, and I have no interest in keeping it. And even though it's signed, 
Again, it's another one. I would rather it go to a home of someone who will appreciate this more than I do now. Um, so I'm passing this one along. The next book on the stack is The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, aka JK Rowling. Um, I've actually hauled this book and unhauled it already and then repurchased it thinking I was going to read it. Been sitting in my box of books in the shed for at least two years. Haven't picked it up. Probably will never pick it up. Um, I know people either love this book or hate this book. And if I do, for some reason, decide that I want to pick it up, I'll just pick it up from the library. I don't need this hardcover edition. Um, and honestly, if it's been sitting in my... Honestly, I've had it for two years and I'm not, and I haven't read it then, probably not going to read it. So I would rather this go to a home of someone who will read it. And the last book in this stack um, is Sourdough by Robin Sloan. I debated going back and forth between unhauling this or keeping it just because um, I didn't hate this book. I have read it. It's a book of the month book. So again, it's like one of those like, I can't get rid of book of the month books. And I don't know why I think like that. But I read this, didn't love it. At the time, I gave it four stars. I think I gave it like 3.75, two stars, maybe four stars. But thinking on it, um, I'm never going to reread this. I didn't love it. I'm going to... Um, pass this along to a new home as well. And the last stack of books in this <laughs> massive unhaul are actually all ARCs. Um, I don't really know where most of these came from. I think I've won a couple in a Goodreads giveaway. Um, a couple were, came from like free shelves at like library book sales. Um, I've been through a couple like book festivals and they always have like a free table of books. I think a lot of them came from that. Um, and just books that I've found or were given. Um, Honestly, I'm probably never going to read these. I had them, be, I've been collecting them because I wanted like a really nice ARC collection. But honestly, I'm never going to read these. I would rather them go to a home of someone who will read them. So I am going to be donating all of these ARCs to one of the local shelters in town just to really be able to have someone who either loves reading and just has no way to buy books or any place to acquire them. Or people who maybe don't know if they love reading. Um, these books might give them an opportunity to try something and fall in love with reading. So I am going to be donating all of these to local shelters in town. I'm briefly going through all of these just because there's a lot here. And um, I don't really know the description on a lot of them. So I'm just going to briefly show you guys. Uh, the first one here is Trader's Blade by Sebastian D. Castell. I have no idea what this book is about. Um... I got it as like a box of like arcs that I won from someone. I don't even remember who it was, but at the time I, it was super intriguing. It's a fantasy, um, but I just, I'm not going to read it. Don't have room for it on my shelves. So this is getting donated. Home Fire by Camilla Shamsey. I won this on a, I actually won this in a Goodreads giveaway a couple years ago. Was super into it. Was super intrigued into reading at the time, but haven't read it. Probably not going to read it. Would rather give this to a home of someone who will read it. So donating this as well. Patrick Griffin's First Birthday on Ice by Ned Russ. I actually have read this. I um, enjoyed it. It's a middle grade. This would definitely benefit a children, a child who could read this and fall in love with it. So I'm going to probably be donating this to either um, a shelter or a school library or something. But um, I enjoyed this. I didn't love it. It, but I am i don't need it. I'm never going to reread it. I have no use for it. So this is getting donated. Uh, Dorian by Ileana Manchester. This is a um, Dora picture of Dorian Gray retelling. I won this in a Goodreads giveaway. Haven't read it. Have no interest in reading it anymore. So I would rather have pass this on to a home of someone who will read it. Uh, Different Class by Joanne Harris. I have no idea where this came from. I have no idea what this is about. Um, I know it's a sci-fi, and that's all I know, but I have no interest, so this is getting donated. I'm Not Missing by Carrie Fountain. Um, I do know that I did win this in a Goodreads giveaway um, at the time. I think I last year, I want to say, but um, I just I have no interest in reading it anymore, so I'm donating this. This Heart of Mine by CC Hunter. This is another one I won in a Goodreads giveaway. It's a like YA contemporary and I'm, I'm never gonna read it. 
Um, All the Feels by Danica Stone. I don't remember where I bought this. I might have won it from a Goodreads giveaway. Again, it's a YA contemporary. Um, I'm not interested in reading it anymore, so I'm getting rid of this one. Uh, booked by Kwame Alexander. This actually I got from my like book say uh, my book festival. They always have a table of free like free books that you can get one. And I picked this up because it was a middle grade novel. And again, at the time I wanted to have arcs. But um, I'm not going to read this. I have no interest in reading this. This is going to be donated to probably a school library for someone for to read this in love. With Malice by Eileen Cook. This is another one I think I won in like a box of books from someone. Um, was super into, into, I was super interested in reading it at the time. Um, but I have no more interest in reading this. And so I'm getting rid of this one. Uh, I'll Meet You There by Heather Demetriosis. Heather Demetriosis. I think this is another book I won in like the box of arcs from someone that I won, but I have no more interest in reading this, so um, I I don't need. It. I also I also have here Definitions of Indesirable Things by Whitney Taylor. This book um, I got at my local book festival. I want to say two years ago um, as part of like the free tape the table of free books. And it was an arc at the time, it hadn't come out yet, and it seemed really cute. It seemed like something I would get to around the summertime. It's like a YA contemporary, but I haven't picked it up, and I have no more interest in reading it. And the we have reached the last arc in this stack, and that is Fade to Us by Julia Day. This I won in a Goodreads giveaway as well, and I was super intrigued into reading it at the time, um, YA contemporary. But I, I'm not going to read it. I have no interest in reading it anymore. So I'm passing this one along. Oh, so those are all the books I'm unhauling. It's a lot. <laughs> I don't think I've unhauled this many books at once. But I feel really good about just getting them off my shelves. Getting them out of my shed. I'm never going to read them. I'm not interested anymore. I would rather have space here and in my box of books in the shed just for books that I am interested in reading and that really appeal to me just because I'm no longer interested in these anymore. And I would rather them go to a home of someone who is interested and who is excited to read these. Because I just, I don't have any more, I just, I'm just not interested in them anymore. Doesn't mean they're bad books. Doesn't mean I wouldn't have liked them, but I just have no interest in reading them. If one day I decide that I do want to pick it up, I can always go to the library um, or find it again used, but I I feel really good. I have a lot of books coming your way for 2019. I'm going to be hauling a lot of books for, I'm going to be hauling a lot of books in 2019. So I'm really happy with getting some, some, some freeing up some space. I would love to start a conversation with you guys down in the comments about unhauling and if it's therapeutic for you, if you enjoy it, um, why is there such a stigma that it's a bad thing? Why is it um, mean that like if you're unhauling it, it means you, you know, it's a bad book? I would love to talk about it. So hit me up in the comments below. Hit me up on all my social media if you're interested. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new and you haven't already. But thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.